sometimes just being is an act of quiet revolution. Uh, for example, like with Mr. Cole, he wasn't out there on the front lines waving banners. He wasn't out there being water hosed. He wasn't uh, out there marching in the streets. But what he was doing was a part of the revolution. It was changing the dynamic. It was changing the way that we, we as African Americans were perceived in the world, in, in this country. And it was a time where he was stepping in as a full man saying, this is me. And that, and, and even though it may, it may not seem like it was a lot, like at the time, but it, well, even now it may not seem like it was a lot because, you know, we see we're all on television often and things like that. But back then it really was something extremely powerful just by being, just by taking, allowing yourself to go through all the adversity, all the things that he had to go up against, just to press on through it, just to turn the dial just a little bit. Uh, it, it was a powerful thing and I'm, I mean, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for him. I think for all that he has done because, you know, I, one line in the play says, uh, if you kill me now, there will be 10 more. And I truly believe that I'm among the 10 more. I believe that we are all among the 10 more because of what Mr. Cole has done and other people like him, not just in the arts. You, I mean, the artists who are out there at the forefront, but also people in all walks of life who were taking steps and going forward boldly in the midst of all the adversity that they were facing. Uh, some have lost their lives, some have, you know, uh, lost their minds, some have uh, come against all kind of crazy things, but we are the 10 more because we are carrying the torch forward.